This is to show you some more intermediate features in Word. First one that we're talking about is styles. I'm on the home tab and it shows styles in here. So if I apply one, it instantly formats it. I have the heading one here. What you can do, you can edit a style. So if I click inside this drop down arrow here, uh, you could save something that you created here or I could expand this group over here. It shows us here. I want to modify this heading. I click in that little diagonal drop down arrow to the right. I click on modify. Let us say I want to change the color of this. I could change fonts. I could do a lot of things in here. Going to the format group here. I'll just leave it with that burgundy and I'll just say automatically update. Say OK. This is burgundy. Going through here, everything is now burgundy. If you don't like it, undo. You can always edit it back. We're doing a report on tigers. Our goal is to create a table of contents, an index, and a table of figures and diagrams. We can caption a photo. So if I click on this picture here, and then what I do, I go into references, I can go into insert caption. It's going to be table one, caption, label. You can choose different things here. I'll say figure here. And I click after this, a colon. And I'll just type in where they are. This one is in Borneo. I say OK. So it puts it over there. You can format it again. Again, that is another issue. I'm going to go into here, insert caption. It's still keeping the figure. It's now number two, Africa. above. It's like a text box and I'm just going to leave it there. They could be above or below. I can go into here, pull it up here. It's fallen off the page. I go into insert caption. Three. I'll say Himalayas. So we have those three things here. You can put them on a chart or a table here. Anything you see in here is not exactly accurate. I have the table highlighted. Put my mouse in here. I say insert caption here and then it's a figure here. Again you have a choice. I'm going to use table here and then I'm going to say table one locations of tigers and let's say I want to put it below so it's listing that there next thing I want to talk about I want to talk about creating an index it's pretty easy like for example let's say I want a reference on every page where the word tiger appears I highlight the word tiger here I'm on references I mark the entry I put a capital T here I don't know why but sometimes you need that there and I could just say mark mark all but if I want to put it on all pages I say mark all I close. I had the paragraph marker on. It shows a little code here. I shut it off. If you're typing, you might want to shut it off to make it easier. Now, let's say I want to find all the instances where the, the country Asia or the continent is. Again, I find my first thing of Asia. I do a find here. Control F. Asia and it shows it there. I'm going to go into the first one here. It's highlighted. I go into references in mark entry Asia. You can mark all. You could choose each one here. I'm just going to say mark all. I'm going to close that out. Let's say the last thing I want to find here is India. I type in India here. It shows it the first entry, India, and then it's highlighted. Make sure it's highlighted. I go into mark entry. Shows it there. Mark all. Close it out. You can go into formatting and stuff. You can do cross references. So I have that showing in there. I'm going to go to the home tab. Shut off the paragraph marker close out of this pane here. Next thing I want to do, I want to create an index, a 
a table of figures and a contents. Contents usually go with the beginning. Beginning. So I'm going to put a page break at the beginning and I'm just going to say table of contents. I go onto the references tab. I click on table of contents and I'll say insert. You could go into a thing here, insert table of contents here. It's based on that style that was burgundy here and you can customize it. I'm just going to leave this like this and I'm only working with the top level change it to a one say okay very cool now this is uh, we'll show you updating this later on I wanna put an in after this I wanna put a table of figures I put another page break in here I go into here I click inside table of contents uh, I could remove it I want to get to table of figures. I'm not there. I go over here. Table of figures. I clicked on the wrong thing. You can't select each tab. But I'll click inside here. I'll just leave the standard. You could change things here if you want. Um, I usually use the dotted leaders. It looks best. I say OK. I have the table of figures here. And it's just showing table one here. I'm just going to remove this. I'll undo. I'm going to go inside here, insert table of figures again. And I could go and show. I can give it a style. I'm going to say figure say OK so it's showing the figures if I want to do the captions which I missed before I could go into insert caption here and not that one I'm sorry I click on insert table of figures and I'm just gonna go and change this to table so it's showing my tables and my figures in there of course, I may want to put a title here. If you're doing some searching here, click over here on that little browse by page thing here. I'm um, going down into the bottom here, the top of this page here. Tables of figures. Ta list of figures tables I could center that and make it bold okay since we put another page in here it's going to alter things up here we'll get to that last I'm on the final page I put a hard page break here I type in the word index I can always apply a style to it if I want and I'm actually going to do this right now. I'm going to go into the home. I'm going to put in the heading one here. You'll see what's going on in a minute. Keep saving your work here. I go back on to review. I click, uh, not review, I go into references. I click on. insert index over there you could write a line the numbers you could have a leader you could have a dot there a dash um, you can do a lot of things in here you it shows a sample here what it looks like it's a sample it's not what you've done okay and let's say I want that to be it here it has two columns you can make it three columns let's just leave it at two I say OK and it's showing Asia India and Tiger on all the page numbers that it's at now we've added things here like an index here I go up into the beginning here I go into the table of contents I right click inside here I update the field check this off too
update field entire table and it's showing the index there if I were to put this title here and if I were to update this here entire table it's putting the table contents there you don't want that so if I go over here and I just make it normal and just make it bold right click inside here update field entire table okay it's giving you a demonstration of all these features plus the page numbers changed I could pull this down and if I, that thing got lost here I could just pull this down too I can make it smaller pull the picture down these captions are not the most user-friendly but you're seeing how we've got things in here yes you can format the fonts and everything if I want to look at it the normal view shut off the paragraph marker we're done